Hey, 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 people. It's one of my interviews for my interview series. I must apologise to Beth because at the end, I never said to her to her because we had a bit of a chat afterwards and uh, I'm a fool. So apologies for that. Thanks for your time. Go and check this artist out. It's absolutely wonderful. Only 17 as well. Oh, yeah. So if you listen to this on SoundCloud, please come over to Dougie Stone Radio, listen to us on there. And please follow us, subscribe. Doing these at the moment, quite a few artists on so far. There's a back catalogue, so go and check it out. But this one, she's absolutely brilliant. I'm really pleased. Thanks to John McAleer for hooking us up. You're an absolute star. Anyway, sit back, relax. Enjoy the show. The Dougie Stone Show. Right, people. So, as part of my interview series, I've got another amazing guest on today, and I need you to go and check her out. Uh, we were linked up by John McLeary, who runs, he's on another radio station, produced another show, and I'm so glad he put this artist forward. I've been playing the music. So, I'm going to let her introduce yourself, herself. So, uh, who are you? <laughs> um, hi, I'm Bethany Rattleton. Actually, I go by Beth Rattleton. Beth Rattleton. Um, Yes. Wonderful. And I'm from Perth, WA. Yeah, so all the way from Australia, I, I use me, yeah. norm, I normally do the good day cover. I oh, know, sorry. Uh, <laughs> it's what we're doing over here. Have a great day and all that. But yeah, it's wonderful. And uh, I've been play, I've been listening to your music. John's put me in contact with you and, and said, yeah. you need to check this. He sends me a track, listens to me show in the morning, sends me a track and he says, you need to listen to this, you need to listen to that. And then about a week or so ago, he sent me your music and I've been listening to it and I've got to say, I really like it. I really like the tracks. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. And, uh, well, we're going to play some of them throughout the show and we'll, we'll yep. start off with Hands On Me, which for me is my favourite track of the three on the EP. Tell us, tell us a bit about yourself. So obviously this is why we do this, is so that people can get behind the artist behind the music and there was always a bit of a story behind the artist didn't they um so none of my family is really musical or anything so but when I was just like a young girl I used to just always sing all the time and then when I was like five six years old like I just started writing songs obviously they were just like childhood songs mm -hmm. like very like as I started getting older, my parents were like, oh, let's just put her into singing lessons because I always just wrote, wrote songs and it was like kind of a passion of mine. And then I started doing some vocal lessons and I just continued to write songs and I really like thought to myself, oh, this could is just so fun to me. This is mm. my passion. Like I really love it. So I just keep writing, kept writing songs and I really just – yeah worked on my voice a lot and yeah like I got them produced and yeah. I just want to keep doing that and stuff so yeah yeah basically. it's really good and I mean you're on you're only 17 so it's fairly young but we see more and more young artists coming through don't we especially if you look at some of the yeah. um talent shows talent programs they come on stage and start singing and afterwards they go tell us a bit about yourself how old are you and they go i'm 15 and you go how's that voice coming out of that person the same with you yeah, when, you, when yeah. you're being 17 you you sound older than that um and your music does mm -hmm. as well i think your music is is really accomplished it's a really really accomplished sound so oh thank you so much You've got three. You've got three tracks all online, and I've got three tracks lined up for the show on Spotify, which I think are brilliant. So, have are you have you done any uh, live gigs, or have you just have you just produced your music to go out on online? I haven't done any live gigs for this for my EP. Mm -hmm. So the ones I release, I haven't sung any of them live yet. With the whole um, situation in the oh, world, yeah. couldn't yeah. be live. But um, I definitely will be soon, mm. as soon as I can, and I will be, yeah, giving them live. For live performances, though, um, I did, you know, I've done a few charity events, just a few busking-type 
in like the markets kind yeah. of thing. Well, I'll tell you what I'll do. I think we'll play the the, the track, which is the first track on the EP, which is called Hands yeah. On Me, which I think, when I first heard it, I thought this is great. And it's, like I said to you before, it's my, it's out of the three, it's my favourite. So we're going to play this. Mm -hmm. Check this out, people, and we'll come right back and we'll have a chat what the song's about, what inspired it, etc., mm -hmm. etc. Et so this is yeah. Hands On Me. On me, that's my favorite. I think it's a great one. The clapping bit in it, wonderful, great track, wonderful track. Uh, and whilst, as I'm doing this recording with you, I've been I've sent you tracks to our group and the station. The presenter have been listening to it and he went, Wow, that's brilliant! So, what's that? What inspired you for that song then? Most of my songs do have a story behind it, but this one doesn't really have a story i think it's just from you know like seeing different situations in like society and i kind of just wrote from like different people's experiences and stuff mm. and i just kind of wrote it down in song like it yeah it didn't really have much of a personal story but yeah it was just brought from like you mm. know around yeah that <laughs> that is a really catchy track 
it's a, when you listen to music some some tracks some some songs you have to you have to consume a few times and go oh yeah i like that now but that's straight away off the bat mm -hmm. it's got that beat and it's got a bit where you can clap in it and uh it's got a good a good hook to it hasn't it Oh, that means a lot. Thank you. It does, and that's why I only have people on my show that I like. I don't. Uh, I don't just have anybody on. So uh, there you <laughs> go. <laughs> Time's too precious. Uh, no, that that is really cool. So you've got the other two, falling down and uh, starry eyes. So do they do, do they have any uh, story behind them, or are they once again yeah, just those learn? two? Definitely do have stories behind them. Okay, well, we'll 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 find out about them once once we play them in a minute. So at the minute, obviously, yeah. we've got COVID nineteen. You you're planning to go out and do some gigging, same as loads of artists in the UK trying to gig. Um, so mm -hmm. where what? So that obviously the COVID nineteen stopped all that sort of stuff, didn't it? And it's uh, it's been yeah. sad for a lot of people. So are you are you already in the process of trying to get some gigs sorted out, or are people interested in your work at the minute? Yeah, well, I have got in contact with a few people who have talked about um, that I should try and gig at these places. or So I'll try and, you know, like contact these people. Yeah, It's just I haven't really got down to it yet, but I definitely will. Yeah, well, but Otherwise, it would be like busking mainly in like the city and Fremantle. And and that's that's sometimes a good thing to do because I, I played a track this morning on one of my shows, Dance Monkey by Tones and I. She was yeah. um, there's a video of her shared on on our on our uh, group. She was singing that four months before she released it, and now it's had. Go and have a look at the numbers. It's absolutely ridiculous the amount of hits that's okay. had um, from that. So you don't know where things go, do you? And I think that's always a good place yeah, to be. Definitely. And that takes a lot of comp. Are you a confident person? Because to go busking, that takes that takes guts. I think. Yeah, um, I'm not really that confident, but um, when I just start singing, like all my nerves kind of go away. Yeah. So in the in like yeah in the performing aspect, I get nervous at the start, but then my confidence just grows as I start it's all well and good doing a, a studio track and you're there with the mu you know with the producer and producing the music and mm -hmm. it goes out and you wait for the reaction but i think there's something quite uh, unique about doing live events whether that's singing feedback from the from live is is phenomenal really isn't it yeah it is and that, that you know it's good it's a good way to start because that when you go on stage or you go into any venue you've already you've already You've already been singing to people that might not necessarily, they're not there to watch you sing, are they? They're, if they're in a shopping centre, they're not there to go and watch you singing. They're there because they're yeah. shopping. Whereas at an event, you'd like to think people are there because of what you're singing. So I think I think you're going to get a good reaction when you when you um, when you do start start singing and start touring. I think it's going to be really good for you. Yeah, I hope so. Right, I think we'll have I think we'll have your next track. I know we've only been, not been talking for long, but I think we'll get it, and we'll get because I want to get a bit of information about it. So this one on the EP is called Falling Down, and the the EP is called Hands on Me. So we're going to play this, and we'll be right back. It's like the town's closed; it's an empty street. Lights fading, no traveling down this road Face with no words, can't explain The consequences I can't face, no, no Fired up in the rain Burning down with water to wash my pain I am falling down to the ground I can feel the pain that follows me around all I ask for is something new all I need is anyone anyone but you road so long I can't reach the end eyes are never closing hearts are always broken but always frozen still I try to run away But it always brings me back again Oh, burnt away Oh, what's left is bad Try to breathe with no air I am falling down to the ground I 
is a big number before you tell us what it's about i listened yeah. to that and i listened to it again this morning before we came on air for me that wouldn't would fit and wouldn't be out of place on a james bond uh film at the start wow that's so crazy to hear a that's few what, people have said that to me, that's actually. what it sounds like to me because you've got you've got the yeah. orchestra in the background and i think how you're singing you've got in in my image in my head was of a James Bond start of a James Bond falling down and a, you know what I mean I think I think that would be absolutely perfect for James Bond so so there you go that's from me I'm going to get all the the, the production team no, I wish I knew them I'd get get it to you so <laughs> what's the story behind that James Bond theme that you've produced it's so I was basically just in a really bad place at the time mm -hmm. when I wrote the song cuz obviously I'm still young so I'm going um, high school can be like a bit hard. Like obviously it's not yeah. the worst thing in the world, but there are elements to high school that can just really get you down, I guess. Mm -hmm. So um, I really looked, um, music was my element to just like let all my emotions out at the time. So that song like really helped me. It, it just let, allowed me to, like, write all my emotions, how I was feeling at the time. It was not, like, one specific thing that happened, but, like, it was just how I was feeling. So, like, talking about I just felt like I was falling down. I felt mm. so much pain. Yeah. So I just pretty much wrote all my emotions down and it created that song. So, yeah, it means a lot to me, that song. It's yeah, I get that. Fun. I get that. I wasn't sure if it was because you could, you, you could link that to a uh, relationship as well, falling down and... All, yeah. You know what I mean? That's why. That's why I thought it was about before I spoke to you. School, school is a te is is a terrible time for for people because you're going through a lot of changes. You know, emotionally, yeah. you're finding your feet. There's uh, chemicals zooming around your body, and you also what a lot of people don't realize, your brain rewires itself a couple of times through your lifetime. Once you're only mm -hmm. about four or five, and then in your teens, and it can really mess clearly mess you up and let's have it right um other yeah. other students are a terrible aren't they you know it's a terrible environment to be in mm -hmm. online bullying there's bullying in physical bullying in school so yeah. I've, I, it's, it's, a, it's a terrible thing and a lot of people really struggle with it and it shouldn't happen but it yeah. does happen so thanks for sharing your thoughts and feelings with us on in the song but <laughs> truly that is a great track a big track so you've had a lot of um where did you get all that, that orchestra from then? Because obviously there's a, there's a there's a lot of not just a bit of a synthesizer in there. There's the full full blown thing going on. Yeah. So, well, my singing coach, which also does producing on my mm -hmm. songs, um, Gareth Henderson. So I kind of tell him like the idea, like I want it to be big. I want it to be. Yeah. I think I actually even said I do want it to be 
James Bond kind of thing. I definitely did say that. I was like, you I want it. it to be like Skyfall. I want it to be like mm. um, plays it all in on the like piano and it, he can create sounds from oh, yeah. the app Brilliant. kind of thing. So, yeah. It turned out really well, so yeah, I'm yeah. Really happy with it. It's a very, uh, 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 my favourite one, like I said before, is the first track, but that track is very accomplished and it's a massive track. It's a massive sounding track. And if that's the vibe you wanted, the James Bond vibe, and we, we've yeah. not we've not discussed that before, and that no, is really. straight away when I listen to it, like, wow, this is definite. So you've nailed it. You absolutely nailed the sound you wanted. And and big up, big up to your producer because I think he's genius in what he's produced there. That's wonderful, really good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's what you need. You, it's it's all well and good having great lyrics, but if it's not mm -hmm. mastered right and your artwork's not right, yeah. you forget it because that's the other thing. You've got you you your imagery, your artwork on on your EP is good as well. It's you've only got a split second to grab people's attention, and I think you will yeah, with your imagery exactly. as well. So who, who does who does your uh, graphics? One time it was just like a one time thing. So we just got in contact with this like photographer. Yeah, I can find her name oh, if you want to meet her. Yeah, you can, and I'll we'll pull the link in. I just thought I'd ask. So where, whereabouts? Because I, I talk to a lot of artists, young young artists, yeah. older art, established artists. So w where do you seem to gravitate with your social media? Where do you where do you promote yourself? Where can people find you if they want to find you? So on Instagram, Facebook. Twitter. I'm pretty much just under Beth Railton. Yeah. However, so people do like to take my name, so I had to really? put, a underscore, put a little underscore after my name on Instagram. Well, but if you said not Beth Railton, we'll, it's still we'll find you and follow you on uh, our several ones. See, I'm quite unique because my name's Kurt Pixel and there's only one. And why would there be another <laughs> anyway? Do you know what I mean? So I'm all right. I, my, none of mine are taken. That's but that is a problem for bands, for artists, if you've got. A, is yeah a name that's not unique then yeah you come you run into problems and people have to find you and that's quite important that people can find you it's not a music related question i'm in the uk you're on the other side of the planet you're in australia so what's like yes. what for, for people over in the what what's life like in in australia life's great in australia it's not as cold <laughs> at all. It's really sunny most of the time, so that's good. Mm -hmm. Oh, we've got really good beaches. I know. Yeah, we can see them in some amazing places. Yeah. Amazing places in Australia. So we we always imagine everyone in Australia surfing and doing outside mm -hmm. activities all the time. Is that is that a good perception or is that just a few people that do that? They, I mean, quite a few people actually do surfing, but there is majority of us who don't. <laughs> but there a lot of people are at the beach all the time. Yeah. Like, so the beaches are always packed. I think I was born on the wrong side of the planet, to be honest with you, because I hate the cold. <laughs> I like the sunshine. That's why I'm asking you. I, 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 my all-time uh, bucket list is to have uh, my Christmas dinner on somewhere like Bondi Beach, and I'm having a cold beer and burger and chips. That's my Chris, That's my ultimate Christmas dinner. That is. That's the my ultimate. That, um, my ultimate. That is pretty much what happened. My ultimate dream. <laughs> Forget the turkey. Oh, I, want, I want that. Yeah. <laughs> so. You're an artist. Who, who inspired you to sing? Anybody? Any particular singers? Um, no one like inspired me to like start singing. But as I like found my voice and stuff, there was artists who I like really gravitated towards. Mm -hmm. Who like really just like kept inspiring me in different ways. And they're all completely different artists as well. So I feel like the combination of all of them kind of like makes me. Yeah. So like my biggest influence is definitely Ariana Grande, which is weird because we're not very similar in mm -hmm. like vo like our vocals but she's really inspired me and then there's also like the Billie Eilish and oh yeah people like Gabriella Applin who yeah. like also really inspire me as well so they're probably like my main yeah well definitely there's some big names there and uh, big artists mm -hmm. as well so you are you do you consuming a lot of a lot of similar music a lot of more modern music do you gravitate towards that sort of uh, era you know more of the current stuff yeah i would say so yeah makes sense doesn't it because i think we've just we've just done some major change on the station i was doing an 80s show and a uh, colleague was doing a 90s show and we've basically binned them for more modern stuff and he's quite surprised because i play a lot of tiktok hits on my show so he's like where are you getting these from yeah. but it's mega in it it's a mega place to get your mu get your it music is. out there you've released the ep and i've spoke to a few artists and I spoke yeah. to, in the last interview I did with uh, Wild, 
they don't release EPs. They only release singles because it's keeping in the minds people's mm-hmm. mindset. So what what rash, was your rationale be for releasing an EP and not singles from each track? Wanted to release like an EP first mm-hmm. because I just wanted to kind of tell like a little bit about me kind of thing. So all like all three songs are, like different. So I wanted to release all of them at the same time. So like people like already know like kind of the stuff I do. So yeah. if it was just like one single, it wouldn't really give a wide variety of like the kind of artist I am. Brilliant. It's interesting because I'm doing my research while I'm, t- while I'm interviewing people because a lot of artists are going away and producing singles. Uh, some yeah. of the more established groups release still release albums, 15 tracks, 16 tracks, something like that. Uh, but more and more are releasing less and less, you know, more and more singles. But So I get yeah. that. So what you've done basically is saying, here I am, world. Here's a little story about me. It's three tracks. Yeah. Get on that check it out so yeah. it makes there's no rules you know everyone's up it's up to you you do yeah. what you think's right um and and i think it's good that you've done you've done what you've done because you've got some you've got some you know you've released three decent three decent mm-hmm. tracks for a first ep um yeah you would say if you played any of these tracks on a show or on a station and said this is in the this is in the charts and it's number 35 no one would disbelieve you. I think what we'll do now, we'll play the last track on the EP, which is called Starry Eyes with two R's in it. Great for us dyslexic, that, when you start messing around with words. But <laughs> <laughs> never mind. We're going to play it, and then we'll find out what the story is behind this. Yeah. Enjoy this. Stop wasting the typical hours I spend without you I'm trying to break from it I hope one day I'll forget to And I wanna see the world one day Neglect all that I've been through by you feel so naive why am i a fool for you and just sorry eyes i like claws in my heart still breathing but the world's pitch dark now you can roll the dice so many options to choose but i still land on you why i don't want you to be my Always on my mind With your starry eyes I don't want you to be mine But you're always on my mind With your starry eyes Holding on still Like a merry-go-round I just seem to stay on Instant wonders My mind Yours is not And I Just wanna let you know why It's killing me inside But you I couldn't care less about me But I'm still hoping you'll try And just sorry I Dark now, you can roll the dice. So many options to choose, but I still land on you. Why? I don't want you to be mine, but you're always on my mind with your starry eyes. I don't want you to be mine, but you're always on my mind with your starry eyes. We shed regretting Oh, I let you there I don't even want you near But I just want to see you here Cause I've been enticed for all these years, boy And just starry eyes I like claws in my heart Still breathing but the world's pitch dark now You can roll a 
options to choose But I still land on you Why? I don't want you to be mine But you're always on my mind With your starry eyes I don't want you to be mine But you're always on my mind With your starry Another banger. What's the story behind that's the story behind that one? It's basically about a boy. Oh dear. It's just me being a confusing teenager, really. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's just an experience I had it with a boy. But it's like really overly exaggerated. Yeah, like yeah. I wrote it big way over exaggerated. So it's not even that yeah. big of a deal. But just being confused, like wanting wanting the boy but not, you mm -hmm. know, just yeah. all that kind of stuff. We get it. We get it. Mum, turn off now. You don't need to listen to this bit. It's not for you. It's not for you. No, but it's right, though, isn't it? You, you're going through a lot of, um, and you, your music will get influenced by things that happen in your lifetime, and a lot of, yeah. lot of artists will. And as you, and as people get older, they have obviously more experiences. And but relationships mm -hmm. is a massive influence for a lot, of, lot of tracks, yeah. a lot of songs, uh, and it affects how you think about things and what you do. So, and you've got yeah. to exaggerate, it, haven't you? TV. When you watch TV, yeah. it'd be no good if it was just like normal life, would it? Because no one would tune in. Everything has to be exaggerated everything has to yeah, be exactly. more onto it and um mm -hmm. i think it's a flavor it's a flavor of it isn't it it's the feeling of of whatever it is and you know you expand on that to make it make it into something that's that's more more interesting more palatable yeah. to people i'm sure there'll be more beth there'll be more of them coming along don't worry about it Got a long life to leave. <laughs> so. Excellent. What What's your plans for the future? Are you Are you currently in uh, uh, high school, like university, or something, or are you Are you following a career instead? Yeah, so I'm in my last year of high school right now. Yep. So I've got like a term left, and then then the year after, um, it's going to be a big focus on just music, music, music. Really, just because that's what I want to do. So mm. anything that will help me with music, I'll go for it and just do it yeah i think you sh i think you should and it's a very it's a very difficult business as you know it's still you can be yeah. the, you know you're a most amazing singer artist and it needs it needs something for someone to find you and then and then and then get behind you but i think you've got mm -hmm. everything there you've got the ideas you've got the vocals you've got the the lyrics to to create something and I, and i think you should try and create something and follow your passion it's uh, what you've achieved so far I think is outstanding, and I'm, and I'm really pleased oh, that you've. You. I'm really pleased that you've spent the time to come and chat with me um, about what you're doing and why you're doing it. I think it's good. I like to share That's it. That's right. why I do these. So I'm, I presume your mum and your parents are really chuffed with what you're doing. Very proud of you, I should imagine. Yeah, they are. They really love love it. They loved getting involved as well. Yeah. I bet they do as well, cheering from the yeah. sidelines. So what do your peer group think about your singing and what you're doing? Do you get a lot of support from your, from your friends? Yeah, my friends are so supportive. They um, are always messaging me about my music and always asking about it and, you know, they're always playing it as well. They, yeah, they're really supportive and they really like, like it, so that's good. Great. Uh, and so they should as well. If they don't, uh, get rid of them. They're not your friends, are they? That's as simple as <laughs> But some people can be very jealous of you, can't they, for what you're doing? You're obviously a solo, you solo singer. What are you gonna when you go out on on go on tour? Are you gonna are you gonna take session musicians with you, or are you, is it all backing tracks that you play? How do you, how are you gonna do that? Well, at the moment, I'll probably use backing tracks, or even just play like acoustic versions of my guitar. You play yeah, guitar. But I'm hoping, yeah, yeah. But I'm hoping to next year get into uni for music. So yep. I'll probably make a band there. Obviously meet people who can hopefully back my vocals up. We'll see, yeah, hopefully. Excellent. Yeah, well, we've spoke to a few bands and a, a, a few bands recently and they all met at university. A lot of them met at university or they met, yeah. they met at school and then years later decided to get together. And what came through, our, and this is something to think about, what came yeah. through from a few of them is they said, I never liked him and he never liked me. We hated each other, right? They've ended up in a band and they're absolutely wonderful as a band together. And it's come up a few times now. Didn't like him. Didn't like him at first. Didn't like him. Cuts down. And they got <laughs> together. So it's it's quite ironic. And people have got together years after 
they've met each other at school or at sixth form or college or whatever it or whatever it is. So it, you never know where it's going to go. But I think it'd be interesting to see what it was like you yeah, with a with a with a band and and going on stage with a band. I think that I'd, I'd give you yeah, a different, I would love that. Yeah, give you a very oh, different yeah. dynamic. We've we've established you're on. You've got an underscore on your name. So where can I think we should say it again? Where can people? I've just been following on all the Instagram accounts that I've got. Um, so can where do people? Where do people? Where's the best place to people to find you if they want to interact with you? Where how do they get older? Definitely Instagram is my main one, mm -hmm. which is just Beth Ralton with an underscore at the end. Um, Facebook as well. I have a Facebook page which is under Beth Ralton, and I have a Twitter which is, I think it's Beth dot Ralton right. or Beth underscore. Browsing on score. We'll find so, yeah, they're my main um, platforms I use. So, my apologies to Beth. Like I said at the start of the show, uh, we got towards the end and I, I started asking her some questions that I or talking to her about stuff that I edit, that I was going to edit out and I knew I was going to edit out. So, we just had a bit of a general chat and if there's anything else we want to talk about. And then, like a balloon, like an idiot, I forgot to go back and end the show. So, the show never ended. It's the first show that's never ended properly. So thanks very much for your time, Beth. Go and check her out. She's all over Spotify, places like that. Go and check her out on Instagram. So I think what we'll do, because I normally do between, and there's 30 minutes to an hour. This was a 30-minute show. So do you know what? I think we'll play a track again, which is my favourite track. And you've got to go and check her out. Go and support her. If you're in Australia, obviously, go and see her when she's singing live. But go and follow her. Find her on social media. Send her some love. Tell her Dougie Stone Radio sent you. I'm sure she'll appreciate it. And I want to wish you, which I would have said at the end, all the success in the world for the future. I think you've got the right attitude. And also, your mum is absolutely lovely. It was great to chat with her as well uh, and have her, have her there at the start and at the end just to have a little conversation with her. So sit back, people. Enjoy this. Thanks for Beth. And stick around because I will be doing another one next week as part of my interview series.
that's our Beth. She's amazing. Please keep in contact with us, Beth. And when you release anything else, let us know. Any tours, good luck for the future. Wonderful. And if you didn't like that, do you even like music? Do you even know anything about music? Until next time, keep your doggy stone radio. I'm Kurt Pickstone. Thanks very much. Just say Alexa, open internet radio. Go and check our schedule out. We're always changing it because new shows come along all the time. Until next time, I'm out of here, people. Out of here.